Hello there, my name is Tor and I hold space for healing, for relaxation, for calm, for helping people like yourselves to once again connect with your intuition, connect with that inner guidance that is within all of us, but sometimes through life we lose sight of that. And in this video I'm going to share some of my thoughts on the aura. And my inspiration for sharing these sorts and ideas about the aura is that I was on a call with a client the other day and he was sharing how he had been in a pub, randomly meeting some new people and they had expressed to him that he had a certain type of aura. His aura is very open, very kind, very generous and that's something that they had picked up on. He didn't necessarily know what the word like aura meant at the time but you know, he went on with it. So in my mind, our aura is our spirit. So we have got our physical body, right? This physical sort of solid thing that we think is solid but isn't solid. And around all of us, all the time, there is also our energetic field, our spiritual energy, our aura and our chakras. And whenever you go to a reading like a psychic and healer like myself, what we, they, are actually tapping into is the information which is stored within your aura. Because all of the information about your past, your present, your body, anything that's going on within you, is all stored within, within the aura. And sensitive people, perhaps, like my client met at that bar, were also sensitive and could pick up those kind of characteristics within, within his aura. And he has a very dynamic aura as well. It's very inviting, you know, it's very welcoming. He makes everybody feel seen and present and, and so on and so forth. And the thing is, like, knowing about your auric presence is quite important because we can work on our aura in the same way that we can work on improving our mindset, on the ways in which that we can improve our physical presence. All of that interacts with the aura. Um, what can happen, though, that simply through living, Right? Our aura can become a bit muggy, it can become a bit grey, it can become a bit down. And, and what we can do is that through meditation, through calmness, through stillness, using crystals, for example, like this one, we can cleanse our aura and we can sort of alleviate some of those heavy energies. With crystals like these ones, which is a selenite, you can just easily move your aura, move the crystal across your aura, and that will help alleviate some of that heaviness. I do this with clients all the time as a part of my healing sessions. In the depths of your meditation, you can connect with, connect with your spirit, your body, your mind, and allow more of that life force to move through us. And then as a result, um, cleanse and balance our aura and also ground it and just alleviate some of that, some of that heaviness. So yeah, become aware of your aura and become aware of your energetic presence because people around you can pick up on that. It's the same thing as when you walk into a room and there's a really heavy energy just in general and you can probably tell that there's been a lot of argument, a lot of discussions and so on and so forth. Even places have auric imprints of the people who's been there. So you can most certainly... Um, work on your aura, on your auric presence, on your energetic presence, and we do that through meditation, through self-awareness work, and also through using using crystals. If you have any questions um, about aura, feel free to leave that in the comment section below, and and I'll get I'll get back to you.